hello 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 good morning it's me who else would it be and i'm back at it again with another vlogmas video who ain't been consistent who ain't been consistent because i've been on a roll and i'm so glad that you guys have been enjoying vlogmas just as much as i am am is whatever um i have an appointment or two at the salon um i wanted to talk to y'all before i got into the salon because you know when i get in i gotta put on my mask and talking and vlogging with the mask on is just not really it so figure i would greet you guys before we went into but, but, mm, maybe if i slow down i wouldn't stutter over my word what we're gonna do is put on our mask now head into the salon start working and then we're gonna go about the rest of our day i didn't get cute today y'all didn't get cute today um i woke up in enough time to get dressed come to work those pictures that i took the other day for my um website remember i told you guys i wanted to update the pictures on my website those pictures didn't come out cute so i gotta like redo those pictures eventually i'm putting so much into youtube and i don't want to neglect my money maker my business all right so let me gather my things and i'll meet you guys on the inside i got red nails they ashy but i'm about to take my sugar scrub the top is messed up but i'm gonna take my sugar scrub and i'll be right back this is a before i'm talking to the camera <laughs> this is a before them looking real crunchy and dusty and then i'm about to use my sugar scrub and i'll be back okay i'm back now my nails now they look better. They don't look so dry and crusty. Now I'm gonna take my cuticle oil and just rub that in. When I get home, I'll put the cuticle balm in. All right, you guys, I am leaving the salon. I think I'm gonna go to the grocery store first because there's something that I want to do. I'm gonna go to the grocery store. I've been saying I'm going to CVS for I don't know how long. Get Nintendo coming to Target, but this is where we are. Definitely didn't get what I came for going into Target, but I still got some stuff that I kind of needed. Not really, because I don't need Reese's, but definitely gonna eat those. And I really want to try out this Snapple. I've never tried that. Um, what was I gonna say? So I'm still gonna have to go to the freaking grocery store. I didn't want to go to Winco, but I'm gonna have to because Target didn't, I didn't really expect them to, but I kind of wanted them to, but whatever i just hate going to grocery stores and i don't want to go to walmart okay y'all we made it out the grocery store it's 12 50. still really good timing for the day okay i'm so happy you guys are noticing like the um change in my smell i noticed them as well and it's making me so happy because one thing i've always been insecure about is my teeth like the, like the crazy thing is it's like if you were to ask me like what's your favorite feature on yourself i'm gonna say oh i really love my smile i so you're not gonna, I hate, I swear to God, I hate people that drive in Vegas. Um, but I hate my teeth, which is really crazy. Um, I think I have a really nice smile, but my teeth inside the smile was just real jacked up. I'm working on my teeth, but what I need to do is work on this body and go to the gym because I got a haul to do. I'm supposed to be doing a Shein haul and I keep pushing it back because I don't want y'all to see my rolls. All right. So I got home, I'm working on business right now. I am trying to figure out, like I know I have two cents right now on everything Chantel for the sugar scrubs and all of that. Um, I have plush and black, which I definitely want to keep. Black is more of like a stronger manly scent and plush is very soft and kind of floral. So I do want to, I was thinking about adding like a tropical scent, but um, just kind of like doing my research. I am definitely going to change the stickers. I hate the stickers that are on my current packaging because they scratched, excuse me, too easily. So I need to order more stickers and then I um going through my website and just really trying to figure out what I like about it and what I don't. I think that looks good. That looks good. And then I have my products there. And then this is for like the lash bundles I've been telling you guys about. 
and then it goes on to um, Instagram. So I think my website looks pretty good, but I just feel like I want to change these pictures um, to more product pictures. Um, I don't know yet, but that's what I'm just changing. The lash bundles I've been telling you guys about, so it is included. So two lashes, lip gloss, two pair of lashes, a spoolie, eyebrow pencil, and lip gloss. I think that's really good for the price of $16. So yeah, just working on all, all right, that. So oh, he needs some, some milk. All right, y'all, I took my wig off, clearly. Um, my mind is going and I wanted to um not change the packaging because it's the same packaging but instead of the lash packs coming in this smaller box i want to put them in this bigger box um it's a big difference but i just hold on okay so i just want you guys to have like the best possible possible experience when it comes to shopping with me so feel the bottom up like so you can't see it because it's black but fill the bottom up with the crinkle paper and then thinking about putting the two pair of lashes this is lash style two this is lash style two that i'm showing you guys and the back of the packaging looks like so so you know like what number you have so this is lash style two and it looks like that. So, so for example, you guys will always get two pair of lashes. Then I'll put the lip gloss, um, eyebrow pencil, and spoolie in the bag. I think I like that better. And then I can top it off with more crinkle paper. Close you up. And this is the box. And then I'll put a sticker on it. I really like this. Okay, so only thing is, hold on. I would love for the thank you notes to fit in the boxes, but I don't think they fit. That is the only thing, but I can always tape it, I guess, or something like that. I don't know. Oh, if this was just an inch wider, this would be perfect. Because when you open it up, you'll see a thank you card. And you'll see your lash. Okay, I'm about to take a nap real quick, y'all. I'll be right back. I'm up. I'm up, okay? I'm up. We up, we up. We finally got up. Okay. It's me. And today... Y'all just see how great he's looking at me. <laughs> okay, so today in Nay's kitchen, we are going to make chocolate covered strawberries. So, of course, y'all know I was up watching YouTube videos and somehow I watched a video on somebody making chocolate covered strawberries and I wanted some. So, here we go. So, I have these strawberries and they didn't have the Driscoll one she was talking about because she says Driscoll has like the bigger berries with the bigger leaves, but I did pick out ones that still look sweet and are a decent size. So I'm about to go wash these real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so these are the smaller ones that um, I'm probably not going to use. We'll just eat these, because they're really small. They're like baby ones, so. I'm not going to use these, so I'm put these back in the refrigerator. But these are the ones that I rinsed off. She said that it was very important to make sure that every strawberry was dry. So we're going to towel dry them. Girl, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still a freshman at YouTube University. I ain't graduated yet, Granny. All right, so I'm taking my wax paper. She said to use a wax paper. Laying that right there. And then, what's the next step? <laughs> I bought this, um, this, they had this at Winco. It's already like chocolate for, you know, chocolate covered strawberries. So, I'm going to only take some of the melted chip. Okay, so I'm only gonna take some of the chip. <laughs> and we're supposed to use a little bit of Crisco. The Crisco keeps the chocolate from overheating, um, not overheating, burning and bubbling. So 
I literally just put like a little bit there like she said. Maybe I should just put a little bit less than that. Put that for the next one. So that's, I put that right there. So we're going to put this in the microwave. So I'll put that in the microwave on 30 second increments. Then I already have like the piece of Crisco in there. I'm gonna take this um, white baking chips for a nice amount in there. I'm gonna do another one with the white chocolate. So that's looking pretty good, looking very chocolatey. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put these two in the microwave as well. Remember, 30 second increment, like I know what I'm talking about, right? So you need some toothpicks, and stick two toothpicks in the strawberries. As you can see, my strawberries are all toothpicked. Stir up the white chocolate, ooh. Oh my God, this looks so good. So I am going to put, oh, that was one drop. One drop of red. I'm sure that'll probably give me pink, but I'm going for red. That is getting redder. It still looks very pink, but we're just gonna go with it because I'm not a professional and I don't even know how it's gonna turn out. So stirring up everything, making sure everything is still good. We're going to take our first strawberry and let's just dip it in the chocolate. So I'm just gonna put it on the edge and just kinda dip and swirl it. All right. Let's do this one in chocolate too. Then I'm going to swirl a few in the white. I'm trying to show y'all, but I'm trying to see myself as well. Because I gotta make sure I know what I'm doing. Or at least make it look like I know what I'm doing. And then let's dip two in the supposed to be red. I'm gonna take a plastic bag and I'm going to put the chocolate in the plastic bag. I know there's like an easier way to do this, but I mean, come on now. I don't know what I'm doing. You know when a lot of people do tutorials, they know what they're doing, but I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing this. <laughs> I'm showing y'all something and I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so this is what this looks like. So I'm gonna zip this up and try to push everything like to the corner. And then we're going to zip the corner off. Ah, it's already dripping. Oh my God. Oh shoot. So I was going to do <laughs> a little sprinkle dinkle over it. <laughs> it didn't come out bad, but. I'm just gonna try to clean that up just a little bit so it can be prettier. It looked a little crazy, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is what it's looking like. This is the very last one I did. Maybe I should throw some chocolate drizzle over this one too to kinda, okay. This is what I'm thinking helps. If you start going across, that big piece of chocolate comes out and then you kinda do this. Okay, no, that didn't work, whatever, whatever. <laughs> That is just some mess, but <laughs> I think some of them did come out cute. For my first time, I mean, hey, I, I, I'm proud of myself. I can definitely um, not advertise myself as a strawberry decorator, but yeah, hopefully they taste good. That's all I can say. <laughs> all right, so I'm just taking a plate. So they're pretty much actually already dry. They actually don't look half bad. I am proud of myself. Once I took them off of the messy wax tape paper and put them, let me see. I mean, I could have took that a little. <laughs> Once I took them off the messy wax paper and put them on the plate, I think they look really cute. Yay! Another successful episode of I don't know what I was doing, but welcome to Nay's Kitchen. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Granny has something to say.
Not really, but I just like to say <laughs> God has brought us through the beginning and the end of another day. So let's all just be grateful. And just use your mind because Tanae loves to uh, go on YouTube and she sees things and she try them. And that makes us use the mind that God has given us. So use your mind and be creative and do things that you enjoy and help others to learn at the same time. God bless and have a good day. Oh, that was so sweet. I like that. Look at you with the good old word. Sister Granny. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed the vlog, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And if you don't want to miss a video from me, hit that bell notification button. We are super, super, super close to 1K. So make sure that you are subscribed, your friends are subscribed. Share this video with anybody that you feel would like my videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.